arrived is at the Shri Ravashki Vinayagar Temple. It's the most famous temple in the island of Seychelles. And as you can see, tourists are flocking to see it. And it's, it's open from 7 a.m. to 12.15, 5 to 8.15 in the evening. If we can have a quick look inside. So we saw somebody selling this fruit on the road, we're not sure what it was, so we bought it. And it tastes a bit like coke when it's right. This is the inside of it. You've got to be strong and you have to crack it. Oh, there we go. You actually have to crack it yourself. Wow. So I'm having some local fish curry with some lentils it's like a bit like dal um, but you can taste the ginger garlic maybe some turmeric but this is something else um, we're currently in Victoria in Seychelles we're in the market um, and we're on what's the street called? Benazit Street um, and we just found this place and I'm not sure if this place has a name I think Dad's gone to check but definitely recommend getting fish curry and the lentils. We're in a local bus in Seychelles. She's taking us around the coast. Um, the view is pretty amazing. Here for two days, 
and then tomorrow we are leaving for the Reunion Island. Very old, 250. Are these CPA? Uh, you have to have them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And he bought the island in 1962 for only 8,000 pounds. <laughs> At that time, we were still under the British colony, so they had a very good deal. Okay, and he lived here alone, no wife, no children. He was the local Robinson Crusoe oh. from Seychelles, huh? okay? And uh, since he was a man who really, really loved nature, he introduced around 500 different types of plants on the island and 100 of these giant land tortoises which are still roaming freely on the island nowadays, okay? But sadly, Mr. Brendon passed away in 2012 at the age of 87. Since he had no relatives, he gave half of the island to the Seychelles government and the other half is for the Rotary Club International as he was a member of the club. This used to be his house before and this is a small museum because he was working in Africa, he was a reporter, he was a journalist also and he wrote his own Wednesday, where they serve different types of food. So we've come to check it out. So far, I can see some 
kind of sausages over here and then frying. Okay, so the first stop is at this uh, It says 100% organic fresh fruit juices. So I've got sour sop, which is this fruit here. So I'm having the passion fruit, which is down here. Yeah, it's sweet, it's sour. Wow, this is really good. Go on, Ashley, try some. Oh, the sour soap is sour soap. Yeah, sour soap. Sour soap. Nice. That is nice. Go on, try your mango. My mango tastes like fruity. Yeah. Okay. Mango is the one you get in India. <laughs> oh, the coconut cream. Oh, so it's a uh, toddy. You should get the small pet, right? No, we'll try this one. Yes! And yeah. so they come by with the little ones to know what's going on over there. What is this? It's basically food. Palm wine. Yeah. It's basically food. Yeah. And and it's a little bit more. Oh, okay. What about this? Okay. Okay. So, can we try? Strong palm one. Normal palm one. Okay. So basically, it's food. Go and toddy. This is what should be happening. Yeah, I can go. Wow, amazing. Amazing, they're gonna go on the boat. I wish it myself. And how long have you been doing it? Oh! Since childhood. I've been cable for cable wireless for, for about for 17 years. Uh, in the fishing business. So you know it inside out. And my father was in the fishing business. Yeah, so. For my family. So you know it inside out. Inside out, yes. Yes. 